What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and it's time for another Grab 5 challenge. There's been so many during the Inky June Marathon. I've been really enjoying using up some older stash and some new stash. And if you're a new inklet, the Grab 5 challenges are something that I made years and years ago to use up some of my older stash. And you just have to pick five things from your supplies and use them all in a project. It doesn't matter how little you use or how much you use but they all have to appear somewhere on the project. So today I've got a six by eight Chamel paper pad, which I'll talk about when I use it because I have found it a bit tricky to work with. I've got a older Cocoa Vanilla collection. It's a birthday collection. Uh, I've got some leatherette stickers from Ellie's studio, some cardstock little pop out embellishments from Ellie's studio. And then I think those titles might be I think they're pink paisley I do believe uh, so the page I'm doing today is a 12 by 12 project life pocket page and I've already put my photos in uh, I always like to put my photos in beforehand and that's actually I'm such a nerd but it's my favorite part of scrapbooking <laughs> is not the photo printing and editing you guys know I hate that but once that's done, my favorite part of scrapbooking, without a doubt, except for maybe buying all the pretty new stickers and things, is actually cutting out the photos and putting them in all of the pockets. I just, I feel it's so satisfying to sort them out and I love things being chronological uh, and that's why I don't, I don't, I'd say I don't think I'll ever give up Project Life, but I don't think I'll be able to give up uh, who knows what will happen in the future, but I don't think I'll be able to give up some sort of chronological photo keeping of some sort. Uh, I'm not giving up Project Life anytime soon. Don't worry, peeps. Even though I'm 11 months behind, we're going to we're going to keep at it. I'm going to do another big, uh, when I do my next lot of photo printing, I'm going to do another big couch scrapping session, which I, um, all of the couch scrapping videos are just up on uh, Patreon if you're interested in that. And they really helped me get caught up. My first couch scrapping that I did, I got 80 pages of Project Life done uh, in a, about a month. It was about four and a half weeks maybe. And it was so good to get caught up because without that, I, I may have given up on 2019 by now. So I'm going through the paper pad and I do struggle with this paper pad a little bit, which is why I haven't picked it up before. Uh, and the reason for that is that unlike the regular paper pads that I'm, I guess I'm used to that have uh, the same pattern all across one page, these were more of a journaling spot type paper pad, which is a fantastic idea. Uh, it would be brilliant if you were making a mini album that was all this same theme. Uh, it's from the Field Trip collection. So it's very... I would say uh, childlike and bright colors and it would be absolutely perfect for a mini album but I struggled with how I use paper pads is usually for layering behind photos and it has been a bit trickier let me know if you have that paper pad what you have used it for or um, if you've had a similar type of experience with me I really love the idea of it and I think that I might take some of the pages out maybe to put aside for uh, Archie's baby album. But yeah, it, it's just been, a, I have had to restructure how I would typically reach for a paper pad, um, which sounds a bit silly, but yeah, it's it's funny how we, we get into the habit of using supplies in a certain way. And then when there's a challenge to that, you do have to kind of reset your your process as to how you would typically approach that supply. So this is my little title card for this week. Uh, so this is July last year and I collage those photos together and quite often when I'm, uh, same with this one, if I've got two photos, when I print them, if they're the same topic or the same day, the same event, I usually keep them stuck together uh, because I, I usually use the Design A page protectors from Project Life and uh, a lot of the time I don't have enough 4 by 6 photos to uh, fit them all <laughs> in and so I do have to use 3 by 4s in those pockets 
and I might as well keep them together rather than having to stick them together on a piece of card. So uh, that's a little handy trick that I've learnt from using up lots of wasted cardstock sticking two three by four photos together. I really love these little leatherette stickers. It's just such a different texture than uh, everything else in my scrappy supplies. And they're, you know, you peeps know me. I love my hearts. And uh, they add a bit of texture to the page without adding too much texture. I'm trying to shy away from anything too thick in my uh, Project Life album or in my scrapbook album for, for this year for 2019 I should say because I haven't started 2020 yet um, but yeah it is uh, it's sometimes hard to shy away from the thick things she says as she sticks foam onto the back of this sticker I'm trying I'm trying peeps to make them flatter well we'll get there eventually <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to have completely flat albums I I just really like the depth that uh, either puffy stickers or uh, raising an embellishment on a little bit of foam gives to a page. So I really, really wanted to use this word create because uh, this picture is about this little artwork that Arch made for me while I went away uh, on a scrappy retreat. And I'm, you can see here I'm being very indecisive with how and where I'm going to stick that word create. And I ended up putting it back uh, because... The photo was just a little bit too busy at the top there for me to stick uh, the, the letter stickers over the top, but there wasn't quite enough room for me to put, a, say, a piece of white paper or a, a piece of maybe not so busy pattern paper over the top so that I could stick the stickers on top of it. So, yeah, I decided not to. I'll use the Create. Believe me, there'll, there'll be another time I can use the Create sticker. Uh, and I've also been used, trying to use up some enamel dots. I love to put enamel dots on the side of a page and chop them off so that they're not a proper circle, especially the big ones because the big enamel dots are just too big and uh, it frustrates me a little bit. <laughs> so I like to chop them in half and kind of makes them a bit smaller. So this is Archie had finally learned how to thumbs up while I was away uh, for a long time he when you'd say thumbs up he would just put up his pointer finger and of course we thought that was cute and hilarious um, but while I was away he actually learnt how to thumbs up he'd been doing the pointer finger easily for maybe six months or so it'd been a long time and uh, so Aaron sent me a photo while I was away uh, so that he had finally learnt how to do it properly um, and he was pretty chuffed with himself too that he he had a new trick to show me when I got home. So for this card, I, I added a lot of journaling this week and journaling is something that I definitely struggle with. Let me know in the comments if you do do Project Life. Do you journal a lot in your uh, spreads or do you find that you are more photo and embellishment heavy? I definitely lean towards more the photo and embellishment heavy. Uh, just because a lot of the time I don't know what to write and I don't know how to write it without sounding lame or um, yeah I've always worried about how my writing sounds which is silly and so this year with for this 2019 album I've really been trying to include a little bit more journaling than I typically would uh, and it's it's something that I'm learning to do and I, I'm trying not to worry about uh, the tense that I'm writing in so sometimes I will just write you know today we did this Archer did that blah 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 but other times I will write my journaling even on the same page as though I'm writing to Arch so I'll say you are so funny when you did this blah 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 uh, so I'm trying not to think too much about having everything in the perfect tense uh, it's it still gets the message across one day when when other people read my album but yeah I'd love to know if journaling is something that you find comfortable like if you're comfortable with journaling a lot or if you're a bit like me and and find it a bit tricky sometimes to put your thoughts into words I started off with 
the way that I tried to include a bit more journaling is that I would start off with just the simple details. So the, the who, what, when, where, why, how. Uh, and that was good because it allowed some of the pressure to, to stay off because it was just facts. It was, you know, we did this on this date, where it was, who we were with, that type of thing. And now that I'm feeling comfortable with that, I am trying to include more feelings or um, little backstories of why things are cute or why why I was feeling happy this week or sad. Um, and I also do do quite a lot of hidden journaling, maybe in like pockets or tags behind photos as well. And also on the back of layouts, that's another great way to add some extra journaling in. So for this card, I had taken this photo of Arch and I and it wasn't great quality. It was my forward facing iPhone camera, which I just, ugh. I've had troubles with my iPhone camera for a little bit um, and the photo was not crisp at all. It wasn't, it wasn't great quality. So I only printed it at a three by four size instead of blowing it up to a four by six. Um, but that also allowed me to make a bit of a filler card out of it, which was nice. So this next photo, Archie moved from his cot to a proper, a real, real bed um, this week. And the bed that we got uh, was from Ikea. And it's, it's a really good one because it extends out from a toddler size to a single bed and then a king single. Uh, and I mean, it's not, you know, it's not the strongest best mattress in the world uh, but for how he is at the moment and his size I think this will be a good bed that will be able to stay with him for a little bit uh, and then he's I think he's at the moment got it at the toddler size he hasn't quite got it all extended out yet um, but once he extends it out to a single we'll probably buy a new mattress for it just to um, give it make it a bit comfier. So for this, I, I wanted to just capture this little moment I snuck in while Aaron was reading uh, Arch's little story in bed. It wasn't bedtime. I think Arch just wanted to go lie in on his mattress, which was sweet. And I wanted to keep the photo because his room looks so different now. Like, for example, he doesn't have a, a feeding chair in, the, in there anymore because he's not doing middle of the night feeds. And uh, I just wanted to capture his room as a whole because it has changed quite a lot since then so adding the last little bits and pieces here and this page is almost coming to an end a few little enamel dots I'm back on the enamel dots kick I remember years ago I used to be really heavy with enamel dots before I found uh, my tiny gold glitter punches and I'm back on the enamel dots, uh, which is fun. It's fun to rediscover an old supply that you used to be obsessed with. So that's the end of this page. I hope it's given you some crafty inspo or it's kept you company while you've what, eaten breakfast this morning. I know a lot of people have been um, making a habit of watching the Inky June Marathon videos at the same time, and that makes me so happy to hear. Let me know, actually, when do you watch the Inky June Marathon videos? Do you watch them on the day, or do you catch up um, and watch seven videos in one day? Um, I'd love to know. All right, peeps, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow on Let's Get Inky with another video. Bye!